Okay, and number two, we're asked to sketch a graph or otherwise describe the graph of this vector value function. And so uh, one thing we can do is just uh, bring it out and treat it as a parametric. We have the x component is always equal to 2. So no matter what's happening with t, the x coordinate on the graph is always going to be 2. The y coordinate is governed by cosine of t, and the z coordinate is computed with 5 sine t. So the x equal 2, that's something we understand. Uh, if I draw my three-dimensional coordinate system here, x, y, z, x equals 2 tells us that all the action is happening in the plane x equals 2. Okay, so everything's happening two units out away from the y, z plane. Let's take a look at what's going on with the y and z. You notice we've got a, a cosine of an angle and a sine of that same angle, so you can't help but think of the fundamental Pythagorean identity cosine squared t plus sine squared t equals 1. And so to that end, what is the cosine of t? Well, the cosine of t is y, so I'm going to have y squared plus. And the sine of t is z over 5. And if you simplify this and write it in standard form, you're going to realize this is an ellipse. This is an ellipse centered at 0, 0 in the yz plane. We go out one unit in each direction for the y's, five units up and down for the z's. So the y and z directions, we're getting this elliptical motion, but we're two units out in the uh, plane x equals 2. So I'm just going to start here at x equals 2 at the z-coordinate and y-coordinate 0, 0. I'm going to move one unit to the left and to the right, and I'm going to move five units up. And that's going to be an ellipse. And uh, if you're like me and you're not the best artist in the world, you can go ahead and write the word ellipse next to it. We have it written over there as well. Now, the, the final touch on this graph is to indicate the orientation. And to get that, we're going to look back at these values of t. t is running between 0 and 2 pi. And we know from experience, then, that's going to give us one revolution around uh, this ellipse. The question is, which direction does it go? And so to that end, we'll just plug in a couple values of t. Let's plug in t equals 0. So substitute t equals 0, r of 0. The x value is 2. The cosine of 0 is 1. The sine of 0 is 0, so times 5 is 0. So when t equals 0, we're at the point 2, 1, 0, out 2 over 1, 0. So this is the corresponds to t equals 0. Let's plug in another friendly value, pi over 2. The x-coordinate is 2 once again. The y-coordinate is going to be the cosine of pi over 2, which is 0. And the z-coordinate is going to be the sine of pi over 2 times 5, so that's going to be 5. And so this corresponds to the point 2, 0, 5. So out 2. Don't go left or right at all. Go straight up 5. And so that's the t equal pi over 2. And I'll leave it to you. You can go in to make doubly sure everything's happening the way you would expect. And so we see as t increases, we're traveling this way around that curve. So that'll do it for number two. Okay, number three, the last question on the checkpoint quiz. Find a vector valued functions whose terminal point traces the line segment from this point to that point. So we sort of have an overriding mantra here when, when we talk about lines, is we look at where we start plus displacement times t. t goes from 0 to 1. And so by displacement, what I mean is where I end minus where I start. Okay? So let's look at each component at a time. 
Uh, let's look at the x component. x starts off at 0 plus it ends at 1 so the displacement is 1 minus 0 times t. y starts off at 3 plus 8 minus 3 t. z starts off at negative 5 plus it finishes up at 112. And so if I go and simplify this, I get x equals t, y equals 3 plus 5t, z equals negative 5 plus 117t, and once again, t is running from 0 to 1. So we can get our final answer here. R of t equals, and the x component I have t, and the y component I have 3 plus 5t, and in the z component I have negative 5 plus 117t, t between 0 and 1. Now, how could we check this answer? Well, Let's plug in t equals 0. When t equals 0, I get 0, 3, negative 5, which is the point I'm starting at. Let's plug in then t equals 1. I get 1, 8, negative 1, excuse me, 1, 8, positive 112, which is the point I'm finishing at. And everything here is linear. It's a linear relationship, so that's going to give me the line I want. So that'll do it then for checkpoint quiz 1.